didn't seem like the biggest hit for Chris Back, but he's made a couple of balls and he's going to come to the table first. You yeah. talk about refinding their love for the game. We were chatting to, to Chris earlier and he, he was at a point not that long ago where he was almost considering walking away from from Paul entirely. He was he was struggling that much with his game and he's he's found a route back in, started to play well again. And he's starting to to feel really comfortable. Yeah, I think every player, not just Paul, but all sports, you go through little ruts where the game just sort of gets on top of you, you're struggling with it, and you do question whether you want to keep playing it. And it's great to see that he has found some form and decided to, to stick with it. But right now, he's up against one of the, the very best players in the world. And in, OK, he made a ball off the break, but he didn't give himself the best opportunity, and that was tough for him there. But He's going to be asking the question here of Declan Brennan, who's got a tricky finish to take out, but he's going to take him on. Yeah, it's very rare you see Declan uh, play safe. He's a very aggressive player, but it's it's controlled aggression. If if there isn't anything there, he won't try and force it. But due to the the nature of how good he is. He tends to be able to go at more finishes than most other players. Yeah, and make more finishes look routine when they're not. It's one of the big traits of, of the best players in the world. You know, we saw it with Mick Hill and Phil Harrison a couple of weeks ago, 2 0 down with five minutes to go or three and a half minutes to go when Mick was in a bit of trouble. And, you know, it was their class that turned that around and they made it look far easier than it was. And that's what great players do. Looks like he's eyeing up the double. Takes the double to the middle, stays on the other one to the corner. and Well, two, three shots go. We were talking about how this was a tricky finish. It was awkward, and he's played a developing shot, a double, and one down the rail, and the rest of it looks fairly routine. The only thing I would say, he's just saw on that overhead. He's possibly come back half a roll too far. He should just be able to still hold the cue ball, though. Yeah, it's just the responsiveness of the table, isn't it? Sometimes it's amazing how easy... Stuns can be screws, but you see there he couldn't hold the cue ball, so decides to double down, move it across, and well, he's back in perfect position. That's what the best players do. Yeah, excellent. What a visit to the table. Well, just as we're saying that, he underhits that shot dramatically by a long way. Yeah. He could overhit that by by feet, and he's underhit it well, by a long, long way here. He's in all of a sudden a world of trouble shaking his head I don't think this double goes he's had a long look at it it's very very tight oh that squeezed in wow I don't think there was any margin for error whatsoever on that I took a coat of paint off the, the eight ball that one That one had a little bit of a wobble, so a little bit of an edgy finish there from Declan Brennan, but over the line he goes. So watch how close this was. Grazed that eight ball, played it perfectly. He did all the hard work and just forgot to hit that positional shot up the table, and that's really, uh, well, nearly cost him, but he's good enough to get out of trouble with a great double.